Hey everybody, I'm Noah Preminger with my friend Jody Espina and we're at the Jody Jazz Factory. And I wanted to give a quick tip on how to subtone. So subtoning is commonly discussed when talking about ballad playing because you get that sort of like romantic, uh, fluffy sound that I guess is associated with ballad playing. Uh, for me, I like to also use it in just as a part of my expression uh, as, a, as an improviser, as a player. And uh, so I use it all the time. And, and it's, it's really helpful that I have my Jody piece because this piece is really, I've been playing it for over 15 years and it has opened up everything uh, on the palette. So uh, I'm able to get a lot more color out of my sound and subtoning in particular is, is a piece of cake for me and, um, and it's made a huge difference. So um, I'm going to demonstrate how I get that. Um, first, I'll play with a straight tone and then with a subtone. So you can see that for a straight tone, I'm playing as you would just kind of full blast straight on with my embouchure being straight. And with the subtone, I'm, it's almost like I'm singing a low note. So uh, opening up the back of my throat, which is pulling my jaw back and down. So here's straight uh, and down. And that gives it that foofiness that you hear with the subtoning sound. So you can also, I know we're talking about ballad playing, but we can also play, let's say, playing fast. So here's the difference. <laughs> So, so you can see that um, it's really versatile and a good way to practice that is in front of a mirror and you can do it with a metronome. You can go back and forth between the two. So, for example, and this allows you to really see the difference at a quicker pace. So I encourage you all to try practicing it that way and I hope you enjoyed this tip and have a good one. See you soon.